nice coffee latte or a cappuccino you'll need it and I'll tell you why you'll need one coffee's there you need a nice sparkling water right on the side a glass to drink this sparkling water of course a nice cigar of your choice so I'm gonna be smoking a standard cigar I'm not gonna get too technical about the cigars I'm just gonna show you how to smoke it and how to enjoy it like me and other people on YouTube so this is what it looks like I've got the Monte Cristo Platinum one of the best cigars you'll ever get as soon as you open up the cigar you want to smell it give it a nice smell and obviously try to make a taste in your mind once you smell it you know how you, when you smell food you know what it, what they taste like this is what you gotta do uh, with cigars as well so there's different ways to cut a cigar there's standard ways of cutting it there's a preferred way of cutting it. I'm not gonna get too technical about it it depends on how you want to cut it maybe you want to try different things before you make your decision I'm gonna start with the punch just at the bottom so this one is a clean nice punch at the bottom of the cigar right in the middle I'm gonna place the opener or the hole maker so I'm gonna make it right here and make sure it's nice and sharp so you're gonna go side by side make sure you don't stuff it up too much and go in a full circle And once it's out it's nicely out this is what it looks like a nice hole as soon as you've made the hole in the cigar make sure it's nice and deep in there not too deep you want to go over it once again go side to side and this way you won't have to do this again now it looks perfect the way to hold a cigar is not like holding a cigarette it's a little bit different to hold a cigarette you hold it like this but with a cigar you want to have it nice and deep in your fingers when you hold it like this your thumb should be under it and obviously this is one of the most comfortable ways to hold it so if you're talking to someone else you got the cigar and you hold and it's secure in your hand you can move around comfortably and you're not going to be risking losing the cigar the way to light up a cigar you want to make sure you have a nice lighter so I'm going to be using a jet lighter other people don't like using jet lighters they like using a match that is completely up to you today we're going to use the Cohiba lighter this is what it looks like one of the nicest lighters there are so this is what it looks like make sure you have prepped your coffee your water is by your side I haven't done that so I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna put some water in the glass so the reason I'm saying sparkling water with a cigar it's because it hydrates you and obviously takes the taste out of your mouth and I think we are ready now let me get ready before you put the cigar in your mouth and light it up that way what you want to do is you want to burn it like this so take your time with this because it really needs more time to burn evenly and nicely as well so you do not want to rush this process because you might risk destroying the cigar and then you might have the problem of the cigars not burning evenly for a little bit of time take your time with this and now before you put it on your mouth you want to wet the 
tip of the bottom of the cigar. So it sticks to your lips and your mouth. So once you have done that, you're gonna place the cigar in your mouth and then you wanna light it up. You wanna puff inside the cigar to make the flame burn the cigar evenly, like this. So you have done that, that's how you light up a cigar. And now is time to enjoy it. You can place your thumb at the end of the cigar like this, if you wanna hold the smoke inside. Give it a little bit of time, do not rush your process. And now the way you smoke a cigar is gonna be completely different than you would smoke a cigarette. This time we're not gonna inhale the cigar at all. No inhaling the cigar. We wanna taste it in our tongue. You wanna taste it in your mouth, but you're not gonna be inhaling the cigar at all. So this cigar is obviously is more harsh than a cigarette and you don't wanna inhale it because you'll stuff up your lungs and you won't be able to finish a cigar like this, a standard size cigar. Leave it in your mouth for a little bit and get that aftertaste. So we're gonna have a cigar to actually experiment with it and you'll know what I'm talking about. So as you're smoking a cigar, you're gonna get like a nice dry throat. So obviously you've got the coffee right next to you and you can just pair them up together. Take a nice sip of coffee and continue to enjoy your cigar. So now this cigar burns evenly. Look at this. It's got a nice taste to it. What you can also do is if you're not getting enough smoke into your mouth, you, you might wanna go over it just a little bit more. Once you have done that, got a nice hole in there, wet it a little bit more. So the way to place your cigar, you don't wanna place it too far in your mouth. And the way to place it is just the tip, maybe like a centimeter of the cigar goes in your mouth. And obviously you're gonna be holding it like this nice and secure. To enjoy it. There's other ways of holding the cigar. There's this way as well, but this is the professional way or the top G's way. So obviously you want to smoke a cigar like a top G, you want to handle it the right way. There's etiquette when it comes to smoking a cigar and you're not just puffing it like you would with a cigarette. You can take your hand off when you're trying to puff the cigar, that's fine as well. As long as it doesn't fall and the ash doesn't go in your face. So the reason a lot of people really smoke cigars is because the taste of the cigar is way more natural than the taste of cigarettes because the cigars are like 100% natural nicotine or tobacco and um, in the process of making the cigar they only use natural ingredients while most uh, cigarettes they use a lot of chemicals to make the cigarettes and obviously I feel like cigarettes are more addictive. Cigars, you have one cigar for the whole day. I think that's more than enough. I know there's a lot of people that can smoke multiple cigars a day, but obviously for me, I think one cigar like this, a standard size, maybe like a smaller size cigars, I can smoke a couple a day, but a standard cigar like this, 
one of them is more than enough for me. It gets me in the moment, I'm more focused, I'm more relaxed afterwards, and obviously it tastes really good. So this is like a, a time for me to enjoy like my time by myself. I smoke a cigar and obviously just relax. That's one of the only ways I can relax. So going to the gym is also good to relax and you know be in the zone, but you know smoking a cigar is that you know just deeper uh, focus that gives you deeper focus and deeper uh, relaxation, if you will. one tastes really good so far if you want to have it like a sip of water as well you can why not but obviously so sometimes a lot of people leave the ash so the way they would smoke it is to keep it nice and straight without dropping the ash and obviously they get it all the way to the bottom without dropping the ash you can do that but for me I want to enjoy my cigar my own way and the top G's way, so I'm not gonna worry about the ash falling. I just want it to fall in the right place, so obviously in the ashtray. People smoke cigars differently, so you, know, you wanna find your sweet spot when you smoke a cigar, or you wanna find your, what ticks for you, what makes you relax when you smoke a cigar. Obviously the first and most important part about smoking a cigar is choosing one of the nicest cigars, so for you, that can be personally your opinion, so it doesn't matter about what I prefer to smoke, everyone will have a different preference. I like, just like what I said before, a dark roast coffee, so my cigars have to be a little bit more stronger. It falls between medium and strong, that's how I like it. It's just like chocolate. The cigars are, you know, they work in the same way. Take your time when you smoke it, puff it whenever you feel like you need to puff um, and do not rush the process of smoking a cigar. Let's talk about how to tell if a cigar is a good cigar. So when a cigar burns evenly, just like this cigar, I'll show you how it burns. It's like an even burn. Obviously that's a good cigar. And the way you light up a cigar also plays a crucial part in the cigar burning evenly. So you wanna take your time when you burn it, when you burn the top of it, take your time and do not rush the process if you wanna have a nice smoke like this. And obviously the cigar burns evenly. I know a lot of people smoke Cohibas and Cohibas are somewhat okay for me, but I honestly do not prefer them as like a daily or like a weekly uh, smoking cigar because Cohibas went downhill for quite some time now. They too expensive I feel like I'm not going to spend $300 on a cigar to smoke it on a Friday or on a Saturday just to enjoy my time. Um, and they do not taste as good as like Monte Cristo Platinum or other cigars. I've seen better cigars than Cohibas so don't go for the most expensive cigars. Obviously choose the right cigar maybe experiment with different cigars until you find your favorite and your own cigar. It tastes really good. This is one of the best cigars I've ever had. I've tried a lot of cigars. This one is my favorite. Obviously the ash is like really sticking to it. It's not dropping, which is good as well. So you obviously want to be comfortable. So this one is not going to drop right away because this is a good cigar and it's burning evenly. I can talk to people. I can place it on the cup just like that while I'm talking. So it doesn't really matter. It's a good cigar. It's not going to drop. I'm going to take my time smoking it. I can talk to my friend about something when I'm smoking it. I can be like, you know, moving around when I'm smoking it. Um, this cigar is like a nice size and obviously it burns nice and... It, it is very smooth when I'm smoking it. So even on a like a windy day, you'll also enjoy this type of cigar. So obviously, if you get tired of holding the cigar, you can place it on your coffee cup just like this. 
literally just like that. That's a nice way of doing it. I've got the cigar holder as well. You can get your own, but I like using it this way because you know you are in a coffee shop, you are out with with your friends. You don't you're not gonna have the cigar holder on you all the time. Make sure the bottom of the cigar doesn't go too dry. If it goes dry, you need to wet it once again. Not too much, just a little bit so it sticks in your mouth when you smoke in the cigar. Also take multiple drags or puffs at the, at the same time. The way you want to do it is you don't want to hold the smoke in your mouth for extended period because obviously that will go in your throat and you might start coughing. So the way you would do it is you want to put it in your mouth and have these uh, corners of your mouth to let the smoke out. You don't want to be coughing when you're smoking a cigar. If you're coughing, you want to build your tolerance to it. The way to do that for you not to cough when you smoke a cigar is to take your time with it. The first thing you need to do, and also you don't need to take a big drag, let it in your mouth for an extended period of time, and let it go in your throat because that's what causes you to cough. If you take a small drag and you let it in your mouth for a little bit just to taste it, just to taste it, that's fine. But obviously if you're taking a big drag and you let it in your mouth for a long time, you're gonna run into trouble. A lot of people get dizzy, a lot of people get sick smoking cigars because they smoke cigars like they would smoking cigarettes. And that's one of the first mistakes they do. Sometimes you ash the cigar and you go to take a drag and obviously Sometime the cigar, if you had left it for a long time, you know, drinking your coffee, doing other stuff, talking to your mates, the cigar might not be lit anymore. So the way to do it is you wanna grab your lighter once again. This time, instead of burning it evenly like you would the first time, this time you wanna put it in your mouth and you wanna light it up. You want to blow inside the cigar. This is the only time you can blow inside the cigar, only when you are lighting it, to let that smoke go inside and give it a little bit of oxygen to blow a little bit of fire to have the cigar burning evenly once again. So I'll show you how to do it. You put it in your mouth. So if it goes on fire just like that, you wanna blow it out straight away because that will destroy your cigar. And that's how you do it. It's really nice. This cigar is like just amazing. If you get to taste cigars, make sure you taste the Monte Cristo Platinum Edition or Platinum Series because you will love it. I've never met anyone that didn't like this cigar. I've met a lot of people that didn't like the Cohibas because they were too expensive and it doesn't really burn like other cigars or like Monte Cristo. It just, you know, you spend a lot of money and you get like a low grade cigar. That's why you get with Cohibas. But if you're getting dizzy smoking a cigar, you're inhaling a lot of the nicotine in your body. So you do not want to do that because a lot of people, what they do is they inhale the cigar and they get sick and obviously they can't really finish it. Take your time with the cigar. Drink a little bit of coffee, drink a little bit of water. So apart from drinking coffee and your sparkling water, what can you pair this cigar with if you want to drink alcohol? So obviously cigars can go well with single malt whiskies or obviously champagnes. Can go with a lot of things. Um, it can also you can also smoke a cigar drinking beer I've done that in the past it gives you like hydration when you smoke it with beer um, on a hot day obviously so on a cold day I would smoke a cigar with a nice whiskey but other than that I like smoking my cigars with coffee and sparkling water because I feel like that's one of the best ways to enjoy the cigar there's a lot of um, ways to enjoy a cigar you just need to find your sweet spot and you need to find what works for you as well. So everyone is different. 
what you would prefer might be different to what I prefer. So it really depends on you and depends on the type of person you are. So if you are enjoying this video, make sure you hit a like, comment and subscribe because obviously if you like this kind of videos, I can talk about cigars in detail to give you a little bit more ideas because this is like a, a masculine way, you know, to smoke a cigar. This is not like a, you know, what you would see on YouTube. A lot of people, you know, they tell you a lot about the technical stuff, but they don't tell you about the G way of smoking a cigar. This is the G way of smoking a cigar. Smoke it like Andrew Tate, smoke it like Rami J. This is how you smoke it. I'll see you guys in another video.